Well, this artifact's of ours with a rather distressing looking story. Uh, the scientists are creating brand new types of DNA. Not, uh, they don't have the standard GTCNA base pairs. They're expanding the number of base pairs, basically, that make up all life. From the moment life gained a foothold on Earth, a story has been written in DNA code of four letters. With GTC and A molecules that make up the DNA helix, the lines between humans and all life on Earth are spelled out. Now, first living organisms to thrive with an expanded genetic code have been made entirely been made by researchers and work that paves the way for the creation and exploitation, and I don't like that word, of entirely new life forms. Scientists in the U.S. modified common E. coli microbes to carry a beefed up payload of genetic material, which they say will ultimately allow them to program how the organisms operate and behave. Work is aimed at making bugs turn out new kinds of proteins that can be harvested and turned into drugs to treat a range of diseases. But the same technology can also lead to new kinds of materials, the researchers, researchers say. Sounds pretty benign, right? In a report published on Wednesday, on Monday, the scientists described the Modified microbes is a starting point for efforts to create organisms with wholly unnatural attributes, traits not found anywhere else in nature. These cells can constitute a stable form of semi-synthetic life and lay the foundation for achieving the central goal of synthetic biology, the creation of new life forms and functions. That's just lovely. <sighs> Floyd Romsberg and his team at the Scripps Research Institute in California expanded the genetic code from four letters to six by adding two new molecules they call X and Y and adding them to the bug's genetic makeup. Microbes are modified to absorb new genetic material which scientists make separately and then feed to the cells. The need to supply the bugs with X and Y molecules is meant to ensure that the cells will die should they somehow get outside, get out of the lab. Right. That is bullshit. And for these reasons, uh. We've heard this type of thing before, but Roseburg said despite the protective measure, still gets asked if he has seen Jurassic Park. In, in the 1933 movie, Jeff Goldblum questions whether the park's dinosaurs might breed in the wild despite the false failsafes built into their genetic makeup. What ha what the movie depicted is very different from to our fail safe. Oh, that's just a silly movie. Our fail safe is built on the ability of X and Y and the cell can never make them. Uh is anybody smelling well? Uh, Something rather foul building up, I am. That is bullshit. In addition, evolution start works by starting in close and something close and then changing up what it can do in small steps. Our X and Y are unlike natural DNA, so nature has nothing close to start with. 
We have shown many times when you do not provide X and Y, souls die every time. It's not the first time Rosenberg have, has made these microbes with expanded genetic el alphabet in 2014. He announced for such organisms, but these were sickly and soon died out. It's getting deep. He compares the situation to prove he can generate electricity, but never put it to good use. We demonstrated you can throw a switch and light will go on, but then it will go quickly out. And we're not talking about a light bulb. I've read as much as I really need to. These people are messing with things that we don't have the right to mess with. We don't know what's going to happen with this. This is nuts. I'm just afraid they're going to create something. Uh, yes, like in the movies. That is going to escape with unknown consequences. Uh, good Lord, uh, I'm not asking a rhetorical, rhetorical question. Who needs God? Now, does anybody out there doubt me that our, uh, world is being guided by intelligences that are continuously improving creatures on the face of this planet. I can't prove it, but here we are doing all sorts of tinkering. And we don't even have advanced space travel yet. Well, so they say. Look at what these people are doing pretty soon. We'll have, let's look ahead a hundred years, assuming we survive. Um, look ahead a hundred years and, you know, you have children creating new life forms and putting them out in the woods. Scary, isn't it? So like I said, who needs God anyway? I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.